He sold for $385. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a category Bolo video for you. What's a Bolo? An item to be on the lookout for, an item you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. Now, a category video is where I take a category and I search for Bolos in that category. And I typically will do this in lots of areas, but I like to do like Christmas Bolos, Halloween Bolos, but Easter is coming, so we are gonna do Easter bolos. So let's get started here. Be sure to check out my channel for lots of bolo content, and let's get started. All right, so the first item that sold is this general vintage general merchandise company Easter Rabbit Bunny Candy Container Basket. So it is, looks like cardboard. It's an Easter basket container like a candy container and you can see right here it's got the information for you and it's just very very basic and this sold for $74 so I do verify whether or not the item sold by looking at feedback if I cannot feedback if I cannot find it in the feedback, I will go into the seller's store and see if they have relisted the item. And that is the best I can do to verify. I did pick auction style listings for this. That way it shows that multiple people were interested in the item. That also is a good indicator of whether or not the item was actually a good sale. All right, so empty candy container there. The next item, oh my goodness, how cute is this? It is a vintage made in Japan celluloid rattle Easter baby with bunny ears in an egg. And this is just pure cuteness right here. It's got the original little tag on the bottom. You guys always take a picture of this. Um, try to make sure it's not blurry. This one is a little bit hard to see. You can almost see it better here and zooming in um, with the zoom feature on eBay. But this sold for $81 plus shipping and it is a celluloid rattle. Now, I don't know if anybody can help me out here. How do you know if something is celluloid, um, like this toy? Uh, I have listed things as celluloid, celluloid before, but I typically will go in and do like Google Lens and I will search other listings. And if multiples say celluloid, then I will use celluloid in my title. But that is the only way I know. Is there any tip or trick that you resellers watching have that can um, help us to know if something is celluloid? Thank you. I appreciate the help and just throw that down there in the comments. All right. This is a Knickerbocker Vintage Easter Chick Bank. How cute is this little guy? Um, Looks to be in really pretty good condition for its age. And this sold for $82 plus shipping. I don't see any branding on it. So this may have been another situation where maybe the person just looked on Google Lens. Maybe it's right there on the actual uh, piggy, piggy bank thing. What do you call that? Yep. Actually, I think it says it right there, but it's really hard to see in this photo. So personally, what I would do is try to get a better angle and show that in the pictures, but uh, $82 plus shipping on that. The next item are these vintage colorful Easter egg blow molds. And you guys, I passed up a, on a couple of these over the summer. I think there were only two and they weren't in great condition. I had a feeling that they were a bolo, but I left them behind, which was probably not a good choice. But these are pretty big. Uh, there's four of them here. So probably kind of a pain to ship. And I, I lean towards not picking up things that are hard to ship. That's one of uh, the things that I do that I shouldn't do. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you do the same thing. You like those smaller, easier to ship items. These are from 1998 by Grand Venture. They sold for $73.50 plus shipping. The next item is another candy box. This one is Purple Leaf Malted Milk Easter Eggs from 1958 Chicago. And one thing you're going to notice is the condition is not perfect, but why would it be? It's a cardboard box back when things were one cent. This is super, super old. 
and the condition is not great and it still sold for $85 dollars plus shipping you've got this vintage advertising and this one's great because right here it has the copyright date so that definitely helps you definitely want to put that in the title honeycomb um so this right here is a honeycomb style so what they do is they fold up and then you fan them out into a honeycomb I guess that's my way of describing it. These are made in Japan. I love made in Japan items. If you see something made in Japan, definitely look them up. A lot of times they are a bolo. These are adorable. Uh, they're from the 1940s and they sold for $101.01. Uh, I pretty much pick up anything honeycomb that is old and vintage. Not all of it goes for crazy money like this, but it is a nice bread and butter. And if you can find vintage Halloween, oh my goodness, you guys, you've got to go watch my vintage Halloween videos because you think Easter stuff goes for big money. You should see what Halloween goes for. Crazy. Here's another candy container. This is a cardboard box. It's a chocolate egg box. It's Easter and it says milk chocolate, two piece hollow eggs. And there it is. And it's got the little bunnies on the side. Really, really cute. I'm guessing this is to show the size of the box. This sold for $102.50 plus shipping. This one right here is a vintage antique Easter bunny rabbit fabric painted face doll box. I'm sorry, jack in a box toy. And it looks, I mean, it's not, in, that face looks pretty good. You usually like when the faces are light like that, they've got uh, dark spots or stains on them. And this looks pretty good. Um, I like photo room. I prefer a white background personally, but a lot of times sellers, if they, uh, you know, do storage units or have a little shop, they just get the item up as quick as they can list it and move it quick. And this sold for $101.01 plus shipping. Do I think that this would have sold for more if it would have had a white background? No, not necessarily. Um, it could have, who knows? But uh, I do have a link for Photo Room down below and you can get 10% off your yearly subscription. I love it. I use it to make my thumbnails also. So I have, I use it for multi-purposes, but um, really, really love Photo Room, making my backgrounds white. So, and you can do it in bulk if you have the pro plan. So definitely check that out down below. Um, we've got this big vintage Easter hard plastic bunny rabbit baby buggy candy container by Ross Bro. Um, $138 plus shipping and pretty cool. I don't know. It says big. So I want to know how big it is. I'm not seeing any measurements. Huh. Let's see if it tells down here. Oh, it says nine inches long. So nine by seven. So yeah, I mean, it's not huge, but $138 uh, plus shipping on that item. So it's a hard plastic uh, buggy candy container. Those candy containers, be on the lookout. Now, did you know that they make knee huggers for Easter. I had no idea. We all know that the elves for Christmas, the knee huggers are big money bolos. But I will tell you, somebody just got a policy violation for knee huggers. I have to look into it. I have not researched it yet. They posted it in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. And it will be in a future Vero video, but I want to see exactly what eBay sent them. Um, they did. He did post uh, the actual notification, but I think it was for using the words knee huggers, but do not quote me on that. Stay tuned for my Vero video coming soon for more information on that. Uh, these sold for $146.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And how stinking cute are those? They're just adorable. Uh, another Japan item. Again, if you see vintage Japan, look it up. Look how cute these are. Oh my goodness, adorable in the original box. Most of them, you know, they're going to say Japan on the bottom. A lot of the items that do well, they're just cardboard and uh, with a cardboard base. So nothing super fancy. This is not super high end or fancy. And it sold for $162.50. Now, what I will tell you, because it is not high end and like a hard plastic or glass or something like that, these items, there's less available because they get damaged and destroyed and thrown away. So they are harder to find, which will increase the value of the item, especially with the original box, 162.50 plus shipping on that. 
The next item are these mid-century vintage duck chick German Easter candy container nodder bobbleheads. So this is a nice little lot. Let me know in the comments, would you have parted this out or sold it as a lot? Sold for $160.38 plus shipping. The next item, I just love this. These are vintage Japan spun cotton chick and bunny Easter set. Look how darling these are. Have you ever seen anything like it? <gasps> spun cotton. I think these are so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. I love them. $175.50 plus shipping. I don't know if I love them that much, but they are adorable. Um, would you guys again parted it out or did it like they sold all three together? I don't know. I think I might've parted it out. Antique German paper mache Robert, Robert, <laughs> rabbit Easter egg candy container. Um, these eggs that are paper mache can be a big money bolo. They do vary from bread and butter to big money, depending on the graphic, where they're made. There's lots of different very uh, variations of these. So condition is important. They're not all going to go for $187.50. Some are going to go for more and some are going to go for less. But this is definitely an item that you want to research if you find it. And if you can pick it up cheap, just grab it and go because you're going to be able to sell it for bread and butter at the very least. Vintage Carolina Enterprises Blow Molds, Mr. and Mrs. Bunny. Um, I think these are the two kids, actually. There are the adults also. There's four of them total. It's a family. Um, I have sold these before. They are definitely a big money bolo. Um, I have a video that is very, very old. I picked four of these up at a garage sale, and they were disgusting. They had been left outside. And you guys, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I really don't like to clean things. So I'm outside like scrubbing these things, spraying them down with a hose. Mine had a lot of condition issues. But anyway, long story short, these are definitely a uh, big money bolo, $174.06 plus shipping on these. These are eight variations of the vintage Easter Bunny Rabbit Lollipop Holder. Okay, so one thing I would like to say right off the bat is... Do not use your characters in your title by putting little bunnies. That is not going to um, increase your chances of selling the item. And you can be putting keywords in your title. That is just my opinion. Um, also, I'm trying to figure out why these look so bright in this first photo. I probably would have used this photo. These are incredible and really, really just neat candy containers. Sold for $192.50. Um, plus shipping. So when I give you guys little tips in the when I'm doing the videos, these are just little things that I've learned over the years from being a reseller, things that I've learned from other resellers, things that have been told to me that maybe I have done wrong in the past and just trying to give helpful tips. It's not to like put down the seller or make anybody feel bad if they do this. These are just little things like I would have done a white background on this. I think this would have popped much more with a white background. But again, a lot of people hate the white background. They think it looks like the item is floating. Me personally, I think it makes the item pop. You can also add like a black background if the item is white. That will make those items show up better because white on white is hard to um, hard to see. The next item are these eight mid-century vintage kitsch. Uh oh, here we go. Kitschy, 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 kitschy. Okay, that's a word I'm learning. If you're new to my channel, I struggle with pronunciation. Um, somebody said uh, something about pronunciation. Mispronunciation is my trademark or something like that. And I was like, I need to make a shirt. I need to make a shirt that says that. So anyway, I thought that was really cute. But these are really cool. And it seems like the word kitschy is very, very trending right now. And people are searching it. And I was over at Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle's... Um, recent live show and she was doing a video on vintage Easter items. So definitely go check it out. She goes into way more depth than I'm going into on this video. I think it's probably two hours or so where she talks about it. Lots of different things that she goes into detail about. This is just a short, quick, to the point video. So definitely check her out. I will link her down below. But um, I had her pull up one of my listings and one of the things that she recommended putting in the title, I think it was Jody Toy Addict that also said it um, in the comments, was to use the word kitschy. Kitschy. <laughs> I just struggle with that word. Oh, my goodness. But anyhow, so think about that when you're listing things. Does it apply? And if it does, definitely think about using it. 
Another word like that um, that's trending right now is Y2K. And that has nothing to do with Easter, but I did a video on when to use the word Y2K in your title and how it helps you sell things. And somebody actually reached out to me and said, hey, I had a really old stale listing that wasn't selling and I added Y2K to the title and it sold really fast. So those key words that are trending, people are searching, they can help your items sell quicker. So definitely keep that in mind. And I will try to remember to link the Y2K video down in the description for you guys. This sold for $202.50 plus shipping. This one, I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness, would you have picked it up or walked past it? It is a vintage Easter egg dyeing apparatus cast iron with a patent date of 1943. And it says John Wright. This sold for $230 plus shipping. How incredible is that? And there's the little bunny. Pretty cool, right? It's still got, I don't know if these are original, but I'm going to guess everything is original there and still in place. This is a vintage Rosen or Rosin Rosbro hard plastic Easter pop up bunny and baby bunny. So I think that is the same brand as that other candy container. But look how cute this is. Um, look up this brand if you see it. Uh, I saw multiples that were in this brand going for big money. And you can see like some of the paints coming off and it still sold for $241 plus shipping. And if you want to look right here. Great item, seller and transaction, $241. So if you want to confirm, you go into the seller's feedback, you can type in keywords, but this one just happened to be right here at the top, showing that it actually sold. And right here, Rosin Rosbro, Rosin Rosbro. This one sold for $32.45, $124.72. So it looks like this person found a bunch and it does range from bread and butter to big money. So that is that brand, Rosen or Rosin Rossbro. And I may be saying it totally wrong, but that's okay because that is what I do. Um, the next item are these vintage purple mercury glass florist picks, uh, holiday, Christmas, Easter, and they're purple. So that would be great for um, Easter. You stick them down in a plant or a flower. $250 free shipping on those. This next item is a rare retired Christopher Radko Easter basket. If you guys do not know the brand Christopher Radko, get to know it. Definitely look it up if you see it. Um, a lot of Christmas ornaments are made by Radko and they can go for crazy money. This one sold for $238 plus shipping. The last item here is another of the Rosen or Rosin Rosbro Easter donkey. Look how cute this little guy is. He sold for $385. And these are hard plastic. I don't think they're actually like a blow mold. They might be hollow hard plastic. Not 100% sure. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. All right, you guys, that is going to be the end of the vintage Easter bolo items. Let me know what you thought about this. Let me know if maybe you've sold an Easter item that sold for big money. Share that with us down in the comments. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, go over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and join. And I do, um, I'll pop up a post where <laughs> I'll pop up a post and it'll ask you guys to share your big money bolos of the month. And then I share them in a video. Those are called my featured members videos. Definitely check those out. They are a great way to learn and to see what people are selling in the Facebook group and my YouTube channel members for big money. And just shocking what some of the stuff goes for. So check those out if you're new here. Thanks for being here. Thanks everyone for being here. Let me know how you found the channel and check out another video. There's going to be a video popping up here and here and a subscribe and another video down below. So click on one of those. Thanks for watching.